our chunky mustard pickles are boiling and we are ready to put them in the jars. So if we want to bring the camera quick to show them what it looks like. So we have a, it's turned out to be a really pretty color. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in jars. So like in all of our food preservation videos, we talk a lot about having the, the proper equipment. And um, we'll go ahead and start with, it's really important to have that really nice ladle to load our jars. We use our funnel a lot to fill those jars. Um, double checking, um, will you grab me a rag to wipe my um, rims with? We are going to leave a half inch headspace so I need just a little bit more to fill this jar. Um, our handy dandy air bubble remover and headspace measurer. So with pickles, especially because they're very chunky, it's really important that we do remove um, the air bubbles. And I'm just a little shy. So just right. Um, once we've filled our jars, we're going to, just with a damp paper towel, clean the rim because we want to make sure we get a really good seal on our jar. We take our flat that is a one-time use only um, once it's been processed. We place that on and grab our ring and we go fingertip tight with our rings. Our rings we can use over and over as long as they are not rusty or dented. So fingertip tight, and then we'll go ahead and load that jar into the kettle. So um, we do put vinegar in our canning kettle just a little bit um, to help with um, the hard water that we have here. It removes the step of having to um, work on um, having to clean our jars. So we'll go ahead and fill our next one. And it really is, they are a really pretty p color, um, way different than anything that we've done in the past. So kind of excited. So again, we're going to make sure and remove those air bubbles. Um, when you remove the air bubbles, you want to make sure you use something that's plastic because metal could shatter those canning um, jars if you run a metal instrument like a table knife down into those jars. So again, looking for that half inch of head space, and I'm just a little shy. Okay, perfect. And again, we're just going to clean our rim um, with a damp paper towel. Place our flat on, put a ring on fingertip tight, and they're ready to process. So these pickles will process. Um, the recipe calls for 10 minutes. So at 5,000 feet here in Lusk, we'll add an additional 10 minutes and process for a full 20 minutes. So we'll post pictures of the finished product when we're Done. If you guys have any food preservation canning questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask us. We are more than happy to answer any and all food preservation questions. So until then, um, we will sign off and we'll see you on our next video.